Building effective and long-lasting relationships is a two-way street. We have identified five key areas that we would like to talk to you about regarding building relationships that cover the stages in building relationships, from getting to know you to the relationship being part of our everyday life. This includes stability, good communication, respect and understanding, love and support and shared responsibility. What does stability mean to you in a relationship? Stability to me in a relationship uh, basically means to me that people have trust in me and that they're always going to be there for me kind of thing. So like if I'm upset or whatever, I've always got a shoulder to cry on. How can foster carers and professionals you work with help to provide stability? By providing a stable and open environment uh, with others, with them and others around me, and uh, encouraging me to develop more naturally rather than when they tell me to. What barriers can you face in building stable relationships? Uh, well, there's quite a few barriers you could face. You could face being moved about a lot, uh, or maybe not knowing where your family are, as in like you're not in contact with them and you never have anything to do with them. Why is it important to have good communication in relationships? To be listened to and be trusted. Um, it's also essential that to have good communication in relationships is to make sure that they're reassured and they can contact uh, leaving care workers and social workers as and when they need to. What kind of communication would you expect to see in a good and healthy relationship? I'd like regular contact with either my social worker or leaving care worker so they know what's changed. Um, I want them to listen to me when I've got a problem and not just forget about it. Um, and also to get to know me as a person rather than assuming what I am on paper. Um, they need to make sure that I'm available to talk, not just ringing me as and when and um, there can be different forms of contacting me through video call or through phone call. What does respect and understanding mean to you in relationships? Well, respect and understanding means that respect, again, like religion, like let them do their own thing when it comes to praying and all that. And understanding is the background that they come from and uh, if they have like a sad day. I understand that they've had a sad day and basically we're there to comfort them. How can foster carers and professionals respect and create understanding environments for you? Uh, again, uh, comfort them when they come home and have had a bad day or they're just feeling down in general. Um, listen to what they have to say. Uh, they could, like, foster carers have to listen because they, the child could, could say something crucial about their life. Or something, uh, and um, they could um, help form relationships with family. Why is love and support important to you in a relationship? Love and support is important because you create a bond with people and create a family unit and being there for each other as a bonding. Each other bonding as a family unit is also a good thing for the young person and the foster carers or carer. What can foster carers or professionals do to support you? They can support me by giving me that one-on-one -on -one attention or supporting me as a family or as one-on-one -on -one as they like. What other shared responsibilities will there be? Helping out with chores, being given responsibilities for tasks in the home to earn respect, given uh, house keys and such like that. What are your expectations for foster carers and professionals? I have a few. Being given privacy and earned space, not being told what to do 24-7, given the opportunity to have more contact with parents, more respect and good communication, being able to stay in contact with friends, help prevent me from being feeling isolated, being able to talk to my friends on the internet. What are the responsibilities of young people in building relationships? 
finding out what, what their interests are to see if they both have similar interests, if they have a younger child, build a relationship with them, be a role model and take part in activities with them such as playing on the PlayStation. I will make sure that I raise issues, talk to my foster carer in a calm and controlled manner, have being shared conversations and help to set ground rules and share responsibilities together. As you can see, there's a lot that we need to do when building relationships. We hope that you'll be able to see how this can help us, as if we get it right, it can help us when preparing for our future, keep us safe and well, increase our confidence and help us achieve our potential.